What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video you will learn what are the different tests done for measuring handling behavior of cars. So without spending much time, let's start now. The first step I'm taking is the constant radius test. In this test, the vehicle is driven along a curve with a constant radius at various speeds. Here you can see that the car is turning at a constant radius r at different speeds, for example v1 and v2. For this test, two things are required. The first is steer angle delta or angle of steering wheel, any one of these two is required. And the second is lateral acceleration. It can be calculated by two ways, one using accelerometer or using steady state lateral acceleration formula ay equals to v square by r. You know that relation between delta and coefficient of understeer is given by this. On differentiating delta with respect to lateral acceleration, we get differentiation of delta with respect to ay by g equals to kus. On plotting the curve between steering angle delta and lateral acceleration, we get the handling behavior of the car. If we put the lateral acceleration equals to zero in this equation, then we get delta equals to l by r. When ku is equals to zero, the car will have neutral steer and slope will be zero. When understeer coefficient kus is not equals to zero, we will get the following curve. At maximum point, if we move towards left, the slope is positive. So kus is greater than zero and we will get understeer. Moving towards right, we will get negative slope and kus is less than zero. So we will get oversteer. Hence, for a constant radius, at this particular speed, the car will move from understeer region to oversteer region. The next test is constant speed test. In this test, the vehicle is driven at constant forward speed at various turning radii. Here you can see the car is turning with constant speed v with different radius such as r1 and r2. For this test, two values are required. The first is steering angle delta or angle of steering wheel and second is the lateral acceleration which you have to calculate using accelerometer. We know this equation. On differentiating this with respect to lateral acceleration, we will get kus plus g into l divided by v square. On plotting the curve between steering angle delta and lateral acceleration, we will get when kus is zero, the car is neutral steer and slope of the curve is constant, which is equals to gl by v square. If kus is not zero, we will have the curve like this. At the point where curve is changing slope, if we move left, then the slope will be greater than the slope of neutral steer, which means KUS is greater than zero. So this is understeer. Moving towards right, the slope is less than the slope of neutral steer, which means KUS is less than zero. So this is oversteer. When slope is equals to zero, that means KUS plus G into L divided by V square equals to zero gives us the critical speed of the vehicle, which is VCR equals to root of minus GL by KUS. As in this region, oversteer KUS is negative, so we will get positive speed. Beyond this critical speed, the car is unstable, and before that, the car is in the stable condition. The third test is the constant steer angle test. In this test, the vehicle is driven with fixed steering angle at various forward speeds. Here you can see the car is turning with constant steer angle delta at different speeds, such as V1 and V2. For testing, we require two things, the lateral acceleration, which can be calculated using accelerometer, and the second is the curvature. It can be calculated as one by r equals to ay divided by v square. Again, differentiating this equation with respect to lateral acceleration, we will get the slope of curve equals to minus kus by l. On plotting the curve between curvature and lateral acceleration, we will get when kus equals to zero, the car is in neutral steer and we will get the curve like this with the slope zero. When KUS is not equals to zero, we get the following curve. At maximum point, moving towards left, the slope we will get is negative and KUS will be greater than zero. This will give understeer. Moving towards right, the slope is positive, which will give KUS less than zero and the car will oversteer. You can see that this is the simplest test as it requires only lateral acceleration and forward speed for the calculation. So that's all and now you can easily get the handling behavior of car at different speeds just by knowing some values and slope of the curve. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. 
Also, if you find the video useful, do share it. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and softwares, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.